What's going on guys, it's Moonbo here, and I'm bringing you guys a new episode, episode 14 now, superhero stuff. Uh, I wanted to start this episode off by saying I'm really, really sorry for the delay in videos. I'll be honest, I've had a terrible, terrible toothache, and it's made it so hard to even sit in front of a computer that I haven't been able to work on anything in Scrap Mechanic, except for maybe, you know, a half an hour here and there throughout the week. Uh, but finally, uh, at the beginning of this weekend, I started feeling much better, and I've been working very hard for you guys. I started making an aircraft carrier, and I kinda got the hint that you guys wanted to see something different. Uh, so I took that hint, and I finally decided to make the Avengers Helicarrier. So as you guys can see, it is huge, uh, so I'm going to give you guys a tour of it, uh, and you guys will have a look. It's a little laggy, it's humongous, but when you're flying in it, uh, the lag kind of goes away and it's not too bad. Uh, so as you can see, I have this upper deck uh, flight deck here with a logo in the center, uh, with an angled uh, kind of line stripes there so you can take off in that direction, kind of like some maintenance area in the back there. I'll show you guys the control tower, and then I'll move down to uh, the lower landing strip. So as you can see, there's just kind of uh, nothing much going on in here at the moment. I might add some more details, but we'll see. It flies right now, so I don't want to change it too much. As you can see, though, we're going way up. So this is the driver's seat right here. I'll show it really quickly. So as you can see, this is the view that you'll have when you're actually flying this thing. Uh, and I'll show those buttons and what they do actually here. I'll show you the, what those do in a second as I carry on with this tour. So here I have just a little bit of a kind of like a hatch here so you can pop up onto the uh, top part of the ship here. As you can see a nice view. Uh, but we will go back down and I'll show you the lower level landing strip. There's a couple things on either side. As you can see, actually, I have a pretty cool little, a little back kind of viewing area here. Nothing up there. I also added some chairs that go up in a straight line so you can get up much quicker. Uh, I'll show you why in a second, actually. So here, yeah, this is the door to the upper level. And then you go down a flight of kind of stairs here. And then you're down at the lower level. So this is the lower level uh, landing strip. So this is pretty much where you're going to land after you take off with your jet uh, from up top there. Uh, I'll show you quickly a few things. You know, I added some detail with the screw heads, which I thought was kind of nice. Um, over here, I kind of considered it a bit of a, like a working area, you know, so people who would be working on the landing strip kind of have this area right here where they can hang out, chill out, relax. Uh, I've also added stairs there, so those stairs will bring you up top and you can actually go up here as well. There's not much to see up there. Uh, I'm sure you guys can get the idea of what it would be like. And then this leads all the way to the front. Uh, I've got the four uh, blades there, which I'll show you guys uh, quickly in a moment how I did the wings and the, uh, the rotor blades there. So here, this is actually the switch area. I wanted to keep it centralized on the entire ship so I didn't have to run all the way up there every time. So they're all lined up right here, as you can see, loads of thrusters, especially in the back. So this is what the entire uh, kind of blade section looks like. Um, it's very interesting how I did it. I only made one of them. Uh, so I'll show you guys uh, the few pieces that I did use to make this entire craft. Alright, so here's what one of those blade assemblies looks like. Um, I could choose which side I wanted to weld it on simply by putting a piece of wood on the end like that, or on this side if it's the left or right side of the ship. Uh, pretty simple, really. It's kind of like having four of my helicopters uh, attached to this entire thing. Uh, I don't know how much it changes the physics for the entire ship, but I'd imagine it's adding maybe a bit of stability. 
Uh, but nice and easy to make and very simple to just make four of these and put them on. And here is the left wing assembly. Uh, so basically I made a left and a right wing and then I just duplicated them. And I welded them on the front and the back just to make it so much easier. Uh, it saved me a lot of time. And like I was saying, I had a hard time working on stuff this, uh, this whole week. So this made it much easier for me. So I'm definitely definitely using the uh, the weld tool with in, in conjunction with the uh, lift duplications. So when you're on the ground, there's a few ways to get up inside. So you can get inside through the control room right here. Uh, that'll just be a little staircase, and you crouch underneath, and you get up here. Over here in the work area, there's also a staircase that leads to the ground right there, as you can see. And also in that opening near the back here, there's also uh, some stairs to get up. So around the entire thing you have uh, tons of room. I just noticed that this has been on the whole time. I wonder if that's been lagging me. Wow. That's a little bit better. That's nice. So I'm gonna head on up top here, guys. Uh, hopefully I will fly, get the jet in the air, land it back onto the uh, aircraft carrier, and then gently bring the aircraft carrier back to the ground. I think it'll be uh, feeding itself. Hopefully I can get it the first try. If not, with some magic, it's gonna look amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want the world download, then be sure to hit that like button, show me your support, and I will know then that you guys truly do want this download and you enjoy the creations. Uh, so I will be seeing you guys very soon. I'm feeling so much better, like I said. So this week I will be definitely doing much more uh, than this week anyway. Uh, I'll probably be touching into the uh, old school flight with a couple more planes or something there. Uh, and make sure you guys put in the comments some suggestions for future worlds. I have some ideas for, you know, modern cars, futuristic vehicles, and all sorts of stuff. So put in the comments. I love reading them, and I will be seeing you guys very, very soon. Thank you.